Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Tamrock announces King Air Wing mod. Also, NetJet buys up to 100 additional Phenom 300 aircraft, and Honeywell publishes 30th annual BizAv Outlook. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Tamarack Aerospace has announced its current demonstration and validation trials with their new King Air Tamarack Performance Smart Wing, an active winglet load alleviation technology. In partnership with Dynamic Aviation, the complete modification process is under review by military and defense organizations looking to enhance capabilities of their fleet of King Air passive winglets. Testing on a 200 series aircraft began earlier this year, with 350 series testing to come. Cessna Citation and now King Air users can decrease fuel usage, increase payload, reduce noise, or add additional hot and high takeoff performance. Survey and surveillance operators will enjoy increased loiter time as well. Currently employed by 150 of the Citation aircraft operators, the modification reportedly exhibits up to 33% fuel savings in addition to the benefits above. Their design contrasts standard fixed winglets by separating the form into three separate parts consisting of wing extension, winglets, and their Atlas load alleviation tech. Unlike fixed passive winglets, they are uncompromised aerodynamically, increasing efficiency and boosting performance with active motion canceling cabin turbulence can be negated up to 25 percent after the break the airbus zephyr s completed a successful 2021 test flight campaign in the united states details after these messages Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. Welcome back with so much news coming out of the aviation industry. We're gonna be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Airbus Zephyr S completed a successful 2021 test flight campaign in the United States. The final Airbus solar powered high altitude platform system flight touched down on the 13th of September in Arizona, ending the most ambitious and successful Zephyr flight campaign to date. The flight campaign had a clear customer focus. To demonstrate how Zephyr could be used for future operations, flying outside of restricted airspace and over airspace shared with commercial air traffic. Russian parachuting aircraft crashes, killing 16. A Let L410 crashed over the weekend, killing 16 and wounding 6. The incident adds to the type's trouble safety record, this being the fifth incident throughout 2021. The aircraft came down near Menzelinsky while carrying 20 parachutists and two crew members. It has been owned and operated by an aero club that routinely hosted events, including World and Euro Championships, according to a club member. Initial statements from local Russian news agency Ria Novosky said local authorities suspect engine malfunction. GoGo's Avans L3 STC announced for Honda Jet. 
Banyan Air Service announced its STC's final stages of certification are underway for installation of GoGo's Avance L3 on the Honda Jet HA420. Once fully approved, it will be the newest addition to the growing list of light jets able to integrate the airborne connectivity solution. GoGo has gained a lot of ground in the segment with 27 new production business aircraft offering its equipment as line fit factory options with 198 models compatible through aftermarket providers. The Aerospace Center for Excellence appoints new Executive Director Daryl Price. The Aerospace Center for Excellence is a renowned force for education, quality, and enthusiasm in aviation, dedicated to enhancing the quality of aviators and igniting a passion for aerospace. ACE's newest executive director, Daryl Price, will step into his role with enthusiasm. John Lights Leanhouts, president and CEO, said, Daryl comes with a wealth of experience and knowledge that partners exquisitely with a very very engaging personality, all of which will be instrumental in leading our teams as we bring the Skylab Innovation Center to life. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's return to the rest of the news. After record contract utilization by existing fractional owners, NetJet is going ahead with another purchase agreement similar to its 2010 deal with Embraer. Their newest agreement buys up to 100 additional Phenom 300 aircraft in excess of $1.2 billion. Deliveries are expected to start in the second quarter of 2023 in the US and Europe. The Phenom has been a favorite of the NetJets fleet with 102 of the type, a sizable proportion of their 7060 strong total across all models. For years, Embraer Phenom 300 has been an integral part of the NetJet fleet. With this order of Phenom 300E, we continue to provide our owners with the exceptional travel experiences they have come to expect, as well as continue our significant partnership with Embraer, said Doug Henneberry, Executive Vice President of Aircraft Assets Management at NetJets, Inc. While 2020 was not particularly kind to passenger airlines, business aviation has seen increased demand, with total flight hours set to close 2021 5% greater than their 2019 equivalent. The growing pains brought on by the influx of new owners came to a head last summer. In July, the company announced a number of changes aimed at maintaining its level of service in the face of increased demand. After these messages, Honeywell publishes 30th Annual Biz Av Outlook. More on that after the break. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Honeywell publishes 30th Annual Biz Av Outlook. Honeywell released its 30th annual Global Business Aviation Outlook, forecasting up to 7,400 new business jet deliveries totaling $238 billion from 2022 to 2031, a 1% increase in deliveries from the same forecast a year ago. 2021 surveyed business jet operators show a 12% increase in their plans to purchase a used jet, accounting for 800 additional business aircraft. 
Heath Patrick, president of America's aftermarket for Honeywell Aerospace, said the increased demand for used jets is estimated at more than 6,500 units over the next five years, putting pressure on an already record low inventory and driving additional demand for new jets. Our latest operator survey results support continued private jet usage growth, as more than 65% of respondents anticipate increased business jet usage in 2022. The unexpected health in the industry is described in the report as minimum ongoing COVID-19 impact in 2021. Nine out of 10 operators said their plans were not postponed, and nearly 100% of respondents said they had not canceled or planned to cancel delivery of a new aircraft. Total flight hours trends have increased almost 50% over 2020 and currently point to a 5% increase over pre-pandemic 2019 levels. Survey respondents seem unfazed, 65% reporting they expect more frequent business jet usage next year. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aaron News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.